Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be diving into my basket of empties yet again. <laughs> I feel like we just did this. <laughs> but when in fact it was just a week ago. <laughs> I actually typically do these empties style videos every week rather than every month, um, just because I have a fresher memory of what things, how things performed and how what things smelled like and um, my thoughts on it. And then it's not typically like an hour long video. <laughs> so there's that. So here we are yet again, it has been yet another week. We are here at the end of July, which is so crazy. We are getting ready to kick off August, which is nuts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I, have, <clears throat> I am gonna talk about oils first. It's been a hot minute since I've talked about oils. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I wasn't diffusing a ton this week, but what I was diffusing, um, Cotton Blossom Tangerine, love this one. This is one that actually took me by surprise because it just sounded kind of strange to me but it was actually a friend of mine who wanted to order one and so i was like okay i gotta smell this <laughs> and so i love this it's being discontinued which is so sad so this is literally your last chance actually actually all three of these oils are being discontinued and the thing with the oils that's different from sensi bars is that with the oils typically they don't come back um so this really is kind of your your final shot here so uh, cotton blossom tangerine really enjoyed that um also was working through my white lavender mint and this is really nice as well um the I love, I'm not typically big into minty fragrances, but when it comes to diffusing, it's a little bit different. And I just find that the balance between the lavender and the mint is really nice. So really love that one. And then last but not least for what I was diffusing, um, orange strawberry melon. And I do love this one. Um, this is just a super fun, fruity, summery oil. Um, really, really nice. Again, this one's being discontinued as well. So this is kind of, this not kind of, this is your last chance. <laughs> this is your last chance for all three of these oils. So there's that. And I, that's the other reason I was like, gosh, if I'm gonna pick up any more of these, like I should probably really start working on, on these, <laughs> on what I do have. Okay, so now let's dive into my basket here. So we have all kinds of things to talk about. Um, yet another, <laughs> I'm just going through this like gangbusters. Um, I feel like every single time we have an empties video that we are sharing together, I have one of these and it is Fiji Flower Washer Whiffs. At some point, I'm gonna run out of these. <laughs> they wound up popping up in a clearance sale um, and I went ham. Ah, I'm so, so sad that this is no longer available. I did pick up a couple of pods in the flash sale. Um, if you didn't check out the flash sale haul, I will link it down below. Um, I'm really surprised I only picked up two pods of those because, oh man. And I did not wait right after that video. I did pop those suckers into my air purifiers and whew, room filling. It's really, really strong. So love 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 the washer whiffs really wish that fiji flower would be a permanent addition washer whiffs in case you are new here hello and welcome uh, washer whiffs are our fragrance booster in our laundry line it's not detergent we do have laundry liquid for detergent this is just a fragrance booster which is fantastic it's the gateway drug i'm telling you so got through that um also let's talk about some pods and then we will get into wax so Okay, so finished up with some Jammy Time pods. Ugh, so good, love this. Really sad that Jammy Time is going away. Um, it is sticking around in the laundry line, but basically everything else is going away. So ugh, I did stock up on some Jammy Time pods cause I need it in my life. Um, but replaced Jammy Time pods with peachy and palm trees. So good, and by the way, in case you have yet to pick up things from the summer collection, the summer collection is going away, being discontinued August 1st. So that's kind of your last warning there too. So have that going. Okay, also finished up with a couple of pods in Whipped Vanilla Lavender. This one was really nice as well. I'm not crazy strong, but it was really nice. Replaced with Fiji Flower Pods. I told you guys I was not gonna wait. <laughs> and then the other air purifier that I needed to switch out had 
peachy palm trees, peachy and palm trees in um, that air pur purifier and switched it out to Fiji flower. So really, really good. Got through some pods there. Okay, now let's talk about some wax, shall we? Okay, so let's let's talk about the August scent of the month. Since we're basically knocking on August doorstep, let's talk about the scent. So I actually got through two full bars of the August scent of the month, which is Glacier Water plus the Whiff Box a uh, little scent sample there as well. So I had a good idea of how <laughs> how this scent does. And I do really enjoy it. It's not as strong as I was hoping or expecting. I'm, I'm happy with it. It is a solid medium scent throw for sure. I'm still sticking to the fact that it smells like a, an Atlantic air, clean breeds or clothesline type mixture really really nice um it is a really pretty clean laundry scent which is really pretty um didn't last a crazy long time i think i got it was a good solid um medium scent throw on day one day two it was light and day three it was it just futzed out so didn't last a crazy long time but it's okay i i still really really enjoyed it um i know some people this the performance on this has been kind of all over the place for what i've been hearing people um say in terms of like what their experience has been some people have said it's been super light some people have said that they've had just two warmers going and it fills the entire house so for me, it, I had, I mean, <laughs> you can see, I had this thing going throughout my entire house and it was really good. Like I said, it was, you know, a solid medium scent throw, not a powerhouse. And I would say lasted for a day and a half, two days, uh, day three, definitely needed some new wax. So got through two bars and then my little scent sample there. And then also, I think <laughs> you're gonna find that I, um, well, not entirely. I was going to say, I feel like I went through a lot of like clean, like clean waxes. <laughs> so Atlantic Air, <laughs> speaking of Atlantic Air, had a baby, um, went ahead and grabbed for one of my Atlantic Air bars. And I just love this. This is so pretty. This just smells like cool water. Ah, so good. So got through a bar of that. I also got through, oh yeah, that's right. Let's see here. I did a super fun mixture gotta find it though there it is so i did a super fun mixture um i have my island days collection super fun collection i love it and i decided to do a mixture in alternating warmers um, of sunshine and tan lines in alternating warmers with banana berry <laughs> super super fun and summery i really really loved this um banana berry is just a really fun strawberry banana scent and sunshine and tan lines smells like suntan lotion it's coconuts and bananas and it's really really good um i will say it definitely changes as it's warming i feel like i liked it better on day two but i it's still club worthy for me i really really enjoy this um it, i feel like there was a little bit more of a floral note day one but then day two that floral note kind of dissipated and it was more of that just straight like creamy banana coconut and it was summery and fun and i felt like this mixture um just in alternating warmers i feel like they complemented each other really well and it was a really fun mix so loved that um also got through two of my bars of island days salted bergamot breeze and another really um clean fresh scent so so good i really love this i am actually kind of on the fence i might actually put this in my club it's that good i love it not a powerhouse i do wish it was a little bit stronger but oh so good it's fresh and beachy oh i love it so good salted bergamot breeze love this got through two bars also got through a bar of star apple freesia very very light pretty but i had it going in here and it was good for like a day and i really like you can see <laughs> how many warmers i have in here it's extra and it, it was just going for like a day so light not gonna make my club but it was pretty well it was warming for sure so i'm still gonna give it another try i ordered um I, I have another bar of it from the consultant kit that i was able to order but 
Um, I also ordered a couple more sets, so I'll maybe let the let the bars sit a little bit longer, let those fragrance oils cure a little more, and maybe it'll perform a little bit better maybe in a couple of weeks. But um, first impression on Star Apple and Freesia, it's really light. Pretty, but really light. Okay, next one I got through. I got through two of my bars of Chase Rainbow's collection Red. I thought this collection was super fun. I loved that they did this collection and this was one of my favorite scents, orange being my other favorite scent from this collection. And I love this, it's so good. It's just strawberries and watermelon. It's so summery and I love this. And Sean really loves it too. As soon as we put it in, he was like, oh man, this smells good. I'm like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's so good, love it. So got through two of my bars. It will never leave my club. Chase Rainbow's Red. Love it. Okay, and next, uh, I guess I was in kind of a, a clean, fresh, clean mood here. Um, I got through one of my bars of Ariel Under the Sea. This one is no longer available, but it is so nice. Uh, just another, it's an aquatic, kind of perfumey, um, fresh, clean scent. Man, I am not giving you much descriptions here besides fresh and clean. <laughs> so um, aquatic, fresh, clean, kind of floral in the perfumey sense. Really, really pretty. Love this one, Ariel Under the Sea. And then I think I was feeling bad for myself. I actually think I know what I'm gonna do with my Huckleberry Hideaway bars. They're the new releases. I still wanna warm them. I wanna warm it on its own. I also wanna warm it with a bakery scent because I just feel like I'm missing something from Huckleberry Hideaway. Um, it, it just, it kind of disappointed me to be honest. Um, I have yet to warm it, so we'll see how that goes. But I, like I said, I was feeling kind of bad for myself. <laughs> so I broke out one of my Huckleberry Sage bars. Love, love, love this scent. If you've been hanging around with me, you know this is my very first ever Scentsy Heartbreak. This is one that was around every single fall and winter season, and then it wasn't. <laughs> and it was just one of those that you knew every spring and summer season it was gonna be discontinued, but not to worry, it was gonna come back. Like so much so, I had so much faith that when it was discontinued, I didn't even stock up on bars. Like that's how confident I was, and then it was discontinued, and I was heartbroken. I remember thinking there was a misprint <laughs> in the catalog. I flipped through that catalog front to back no less than like five, six times. I thought for sure I was missing something. There was a misprint. There's no way they got rid of my Huckleberry Sage, but they did. Thankfully, they brought it back for, for uh, Bring Back My Bar, and at that time, Scentsy Club was a thing. It is sweet, it is clean, it is so good, it's so good. This is one I reach for all year round. It's not one that's winter specific to me. I love this all year. It is so good, Ugh, I love it. Also, another thing that I wanna do with Huckleberry Sage, I think I wanna mix one cube to one cube in the same warmer of Huckleberry Sage and Huckleberry Hideaway. I'm hoping that maybe Huckleberry Sage will kind of lighten it and brighten up uh, Huckleberry Hideaway maybe a little bit and who knows that may be like my new favorite mix so we'll have to wait and see stay tuned so got through a bar of Huckleberry Sage okay last two bars yes I did get through this much in a week this is just how I roll <laughs> I have a lot of warmers um, we keep the warmers going all the time and um, I, I'm warming different things in different areas of the house typically when there's two of the same bar um, it'll be in like the main living area but um, other than that then it's like it's a different scent in our bedroom it's a different scent in Sean's office aka creative cave it's a different scent in here so um just keep in mind that that's <laughs> that's why there's so much so sorry not sorry got through a bar of my vitamin r relax from the all is well wax collection loved this collection as well and obsessed with this wax this is so good this is very similar to me to pacific sandalwood from the international wax collection it's so good it's a like perfumey rich sophisticated vanilla scent ah beautiful love this one it's in my club it'll stay there forever vitamin r relax 
And then for the hubby, <laughs> got through a bar of oodles of orange, his favorite scent. That's all that he has going in his office. He is super easy to please. If it's not oodles of orange, it's blue grotto. So I should actually mix it up on him. I know he also actually really likes um, blueberry cheesecake. So, but right now he's just like, he's laser focused. It's, it's only oodles of orange for him in his life. <laughs> So, but I am proud of him because look at this guy's a whole bar. <laughs> Last time he was getting through this, it was um, just two cubes. So we're making progress, friends. Progress, not perfection. <laughs> So there you have it. We have gotten through another week. We have emptied another basket and it feels so good. Let me know down below what you have been warming. Have you been doing some mixing? Uh, let me know down below. I love hearing from you. What are you picking up for the last time for the spring and summer season? What are you excited for for the upcoming fall and winter season that is right in front of us? Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the, no the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. All right, you guys have an amazing day, a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>